What's wrong? Nothing. And I'm Michael Jackson. What's wrong? Look at me. Back here where I started. And with what? What have I got to show for it? All that experience to begin with. Great. Maybe I can put on a show for the kangaroos. Self-pity is for fools. So my dad used to say. Understand? I think so. Good. My dad had a lot of wise things to say. You'll hear them all if you're not careful. Then I'd be in strife. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> A bit better than the last place. It's fantastic, Mum. There's a mail for you. Come see your room first. Ta-da! You've gone to so much trouble. I wanted it to be special. Great. It's a postcard from Jack. That'll cheer you up. <laughs> how is he? Terrific. Dear Sarah, how are you? And my old mate Sim. Haven't heard from him for a while. I'm finishing at the rodeo before it finishes me. So I'll be back in the city soon. Love, Jack. <laughs> this one's from a solicitor called Clarence Hurst. Who wants to see me? At the Palm Lake Motel, please phone for an appointment. What about? What does that mean? Mr. Clarence Hurst? Ah, welcome, welcome. I was beginning to wonder if I'd ever hear from you. I've been firing letters off all over the world. Paris, Montreal. From here? But Clary Hurst always gets his man. I thought you were a lawyer. Indeed. Most of my life I've spent behind a dusty desk. But now... <laughs> what is this about, Mr Hurst? Did you know a Mr Neville Rathnow? He owns a circus. Did. Mr Rathnow is with us no longer. He's dead. Gone to meet his maker. Shuffled off his mortal coil. That's my favourite. <laughs> Before Mr. Rathnow departed this world, he left you something. He left me something. He was always so stingy. Death does strange things to people. Here we are. In memory of the ballistic missile, Martha, my wife, may she become famous, may she have a disease named after her, I leave all my property to Simon Gunner, the only person to have made me laugh in the last decade. Property? What property? All my goods, chattels and interest in what is known as Rathnow's Grand Imperial Circus and Menagerie. The circus? He left me the circus. Well, where is it? This uh, circus, I mean. Here, in Australia. Thank you. Bye. The town clerk said they left Black Springs over two weeks ago. Don't they follow the same route every year? They did. And Black Springs wasn't anywhere near it. There's hardly any towns out there. I'm not sure this is a good idea. What? After Paris and Montreal, you're worried that I'm too young to go into the big bad outback by myself? Maybe not. But you're too young to run a circus by yourself. I know how much clowning means to you, but this is different. Come with me then. Be a part of it. I can't. We can run it together. It's not that simple. I've got the house and a mortgage. I've worked hard for it. And I'm doing a job I really like. See him? It's OK, I'm sorry. I always think people feel the same way about things as I do. 
That was your chief. <laughs> so tell me, did you spread my name all over Paris? From the top of the Eiffel Tower. Jack Merrick! Yeah, yeah, and what did Paris say? Jacques who? Yeah, that's <laughs> right, eh? <laughs> right. If you can't come, what about Jack? What about Jack? He'll be a great help. He knows everybody already. Help? No who? The whole thing's a big responsibility. What whole thing? I'd certainly feel much happier if Jack was with you. Jack, I've just won a circus. Which circus? Rathnau Circus. So what was second prize? Two Rathnau Circuses? No, 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 no. <laughs> Neville Rathnau died and he left it to me. It's all mine. Hmm. Congratulations, I think. All we have to do is find it. Will you come with me? Well... I thought you said you were finished with the rodeo. Well, this old bones ain't taking the falls it used to. You'll go with him then? Sure, why not? Fantastic! Well, driving the bush with me old mate is a nice way to start my retirement. Thanks, Jack. You let me know when you get there. I'll come and visit you as soon as I can. Oh, don't worry, Sarah. Sim will look after me. <laughs> so where are we going? Somewhere around... here. I've got some terrific ideas for the circus. Oh, good. Anatole turned out to be old-fashioned. But I met two other terrific clowns, Philip and Eve. Eve? Yeah. Philip gave me some great ideas on how to involve the audience in the performance. Well, this Eve you've mentioned a few thousand times. She your girlfriend? Well, we performed, rehearsed together. Sounds a bit more serious than that. Not anymore. We had an argument. What about? It's a long story. Well, this is a long road. Could be days before we find him, Chief. Well? We've had enough of this. Yeah, we're not happy. You weren't hired to be happy. You were hired to work. We're not happy in our work. So, whistle while you work, whingers. I'm the boss. I've got more to whinge about than the lot of you. Do you hear me whinging? Look, we know that profits are dropping and we know that ticket sales are going down, and so we agreed to a wage cut. But you worked us just as hard, and now you're asking for another cut, and it's too much, Martha. So do something about it or else. Ever since Mr Rathnow... Don't you mention his name. That no-good rotten excuse for a husband is where he deserves to be. Six feet under. If you're not happy with the way things are, then I suggest you clear out. Yeah, well, I'm off. With pleasure. Yeah. And don't you come back again. I've got a long memory, and you wimps are in it. I'll run this circus on my own. If you cut the wages again, Mum, you might have to. Take it or leave it. It's my final offer. Water pump's cactus. What'll we do now? Wait. Till someone comes along and give us a lift. Bye, Mum. Don't let me keep you. I told you after Dad died I'd give it six months, but it hasn't worked. Admit it, Mum, it's time to get out. Not while there's breath in this body. Sell the circus. Buy a house, have a holiday, enjoy your life for once. I was born in the ring and I'll die in the ring. See you, Lil. Take it easy. Good See luck, you, Lil. Lil. Good luck. I think after three hours, someone would have driven by. What do you reckon, Chief? Oh, fabulous, Jack. Put anyone to sleep. Maybe you'll give me a job as a hypnotist. Chief. Sam. Sam, wake up. Sam. Sam. Wake up, mate. Tell me about Paris, you know. And that little French Sheila of yours.
Is this a private ceremony, or can anyone join in? Sure. You got to bring your own water pump, though. Ours is... <laughs> ours is busted. What do you reckon, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Well, that's my boss, Charlie. He makes all the decisions. I'm Max. Jack. Sim. Okay, boss. Give you a lift, he said. Not far to my place. We'll tow the ute. Where are you headed? Rathnow Circus. Somewhere this side of Black Springs, we think. Oh, no, no, no. They're coming down this way, out the back of the jump up. Looking for a job with them, are you? No. Yeah. I'm the new owner. Well, congratulations. You hear that, Charlie? Mm -hmm. We're giving a lift to the opposition. <laughs> All right, Ginger, thanks a lot, mate. See you. Well, the water pump's gonna take a few days, but you can park your ute here till your circus gets here to take all my business. Charlie and I are heading over to the jump up today and we'd be happy to take you. You excited, Chief? Too right. It's gonna be fantastic. Where's the welcoming committee? More to the point, where's Martha? Few blokes are looking for a job. Forget it. No. If your debt collectors also forget it, she's broke. Hi, Vic. Well, you two sure picked a fine time to come back. Jack? Oh, no, oh, mate. What's going on? Ah, oh, Jack and Sim. Terrible, terrible, terrible. If it isn't Simon Gunner, international celebrity and friend. Hey, Martha. G'day, Martha. I've got some news. Save it, kid. I know all about the will. We'll discuss that later. Congratulations. You've got a management crisis on your hands. Crisis? They're getting a wage cut. It's already decided. Look, Martha, I'm the owner now. No, you're not. What? You're not the owner. But Mr Hurst, the lawyer, no said... No owner. That no-good, rotten lump of uselessness that was my husband only gave you his half. I'm the other 50%. Shake, partner. In partnerships with her. <laughs> Stop it! The Sim and Martha show. <laughs> Maybe you two should work out a few routines together. <laughs> You're meant to be a friend. Stop laughing. Sorry. It's a complete disaster. You could do a high wire act together. <laughs> Jack! No, let's, let's work this out rationally. She can't buy me out because she can't afford it. <laughs> And you can't afford to buy her out. And she won't leave because she hasn't got anywhere to go. So there goes your grand plans. No. No, we'll make it work. We'll get everybody to pull together. Come in, Martha. Oh, my, how you've changed. Bill up, Jack. <laughs> Martha says you own half the circus. We want to know what you're going to do about our problems. I'll have to have a look at the money situation before I decide. Sim, you say disaster. Box office is down. There won't be a circus if things keep going like this. Don't worry, Otto. There's going to be big changes. Yeah, well, we'll be in the tent in half an hour to hear just what these changes are. And they better be good, or we all go. They treat me like I'm the enemy. You're the boss now, Chief. 
Only half a boss. Would they really all leave? Not if we come up with a half good plan. In half an hour? Well, let's hear it. Can't keep the vultures waiting. I'd like to try some new ideas here, as well as develop some new routines. What's wrong with the ones we got? They're not reaching enough people, Martha, because they're too old-fashioned. Mrs. Rath, now to you. What are you going to do about the wages? If we can get a really fantastic circus together, people will come in droves to see us. So you're going to do nothing about the wages? Well, that's it. I'm off. Wait, go then, you morons! We can't afford to lose any more people. I can't ask you to stay. All I can do is ask that you believe in this, the circus. We can make a difference. We can work together and create something. I'd settle for a fair wage. Or is that too old fashioned? Yeah. I'm putting Jack in charge of the money. Says who? You are? Just help me out for a few weeks. Um, we've only just arrived and um, we want to see the books to, uh, to see where the circus stands financially. If everyone's prepared to work together like a family, to create a new circus, then I'm prepared to give everyone equal shares in any profits, because that's the way I want it to be. A big family. Are you talking equity participation? I don't know. Am I? Sounds like it, Chief. Equal shares for all. Everyone takes a risk. Everyone takes the same level in glory and profit. That's communism! Please. I'm not asking you to stay for me, but for this. For us, for the circus. Ah, oh, come on. No way. Can you sign these, Chief? Kitchen supplies. No check, no food. OK. How's everything going? Well, the advance bookings are OK. Thought of, but still not enough to pay the bills. I've arranged to extend our line. This has better be a good show. We're getting there. Are you talking to me, Mrs. Rathnow? No. I'm trying to commune with my dead husband. Get over here. I don't want to make... routine of yours. Looks political. Yeah. It's got an environmental message in it. Politics and laughter don't mix. You want to send a message? Join a political party. But it's funny. It's now. I don't care if it's tomorrow. It's not in my circus. Our circus? I make all the decisions on the content of the show. Since when? Since I decided to cut your act. Look, Mrs. Rathnow, I own 50% of this circus. If I want to do an act like that, I'll do it. Don't you tangle with me, boy. It'll get ugly. Then don't censor my material. Are you telling me how to run a circus? How old are you? 12? I'm 16. Oh, how dreadfully sorry I am. Sixteen. Then, of course, you'd know everything there is to know about running circuses. In those sixteen years, you would have had a vast, huge, overwhelming experience running circuses. Not like me, who was born in the big top, who spent my entire life running a circus. No, clearly you would know far more than I. You don't talk to my son like that. You keep out of it. No, no, I won't. Look, from what Jack tells me, you should be grateful that he's agreed to stay on and help out when all you do is complain and insult people. 
You don't deserve the loyalty that Sim and all these other people are showing you. Loyalty? If you didn't have this circus, what would you have? What do you mean by that? I feel like ten minutes in the sunshine. Who wants to join me? Good idea, sir. Come and Sim. my question for you, Martha. If you didn't have this circus, you'd have nothing. Think about it. Here's a little bit of Sim's leg. Good work, Otto. He was starving. A bit of his mum's arm. That's right, boys. Eat it all up. See, Otto? I told you they needed more food. Seems not going to like it, Mrs. Ratno. It's none of his business. My babies will not go hungry. Wildfire woman. Dragon woman. Intellectual pygmies, Otto. They hate me. No, people are unhappy, so they cranky. Jack, too. They say I buy too much lion food. I'm the expert on that. I'm officially putting you in charge of the animal food. We decide what's best for them, not Jack or anyone else. Uh, but, uh... And I've decided to give you a pay rise. Grab it clean, Otto. Who are you? Wayne. What are you doing in my caravan, Wayne? I, I read your advertisement in Doyle's Hay and Corn Store, Mrs. Rathnow. You need a tent hand. I am that man. You could have left the notice. I need a couple of men. I am that couple of men, Mrs. Rathnow. I'll work like a Trojan for an employer I can respect. Who is it? Sim. Mrs. Rathnow, I need to talk to you about... Meet Wayne. New tent hand. Since when can we afford a new tent hand? You expect me to put up the tent, feed the animals, and perform every night as well? I'd really like to help feed the lions. We'll let you know if we've got anything for you. Start time, 7am. 150 a week. Oh, that's fantastic. It is? Oh, I've always wanted to be in the circus. You know, fire eating and stuff like that. My dad says I'm a real clown. I say we give him a try. OK, you're hired. But for a trial period. Six months. It's been great having you here, Mum. No, I'm sorry I have to go, but I'll be back. Dress rehearsal in ten minutes. Latecomers will be prosecuted. I know you need to do this on your own, but I hadn't counted on Martha being involved. Neither did I. Can you manage? No worries. What? Sim manage? Does a duck with one leg swim in cycles? The poison ain't born yet who can make life tough for Sim. <laughs> I think you'll manage, with Merv's help. And Jack's, and everyone's. I'll be fine. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Martha Rathnow's Grand Imperial Circus and Menagerie. Forget it. There's my precious. Come on to mum. <laughs> Don't you think for a moment that you're funny. I've seen funnier car accidents. Oh, and presenting those fearless flyers, the famous flying Fernandez family. Did you hear me 
say as slow and dull as possible. Well, did you? Hi, Mrs. Brown. Oh, what? Of mild discomfort. Ooh, that's better. Oh, don't stop now. You still got both hands. What are you waiting for? The pension? Oh, Sim, Martha says the knife throwing act is next. What knife throwing act? Martha's and yours. decisions about the act. We agreed to that. No, we didn't agree. You just told me. And I certainly didn't agree to being part of any knife-throwing act. Dear me. Sorry. Didn't you say everybody had to do more than their usual job? Or did you mean everybody but you? Look, Martha, I don't want to fight you all the time. I don't mind doing extra. But knife-throwing acts are, are boring. Old-fashioned. My audience loves the familiar. Your audience might. But, but our audience wants something new and challenging. Politics, I suppose. No, just something different. Sure, we can still do the, the juggling and high wire acts and that sort of thing, but we need to put on more new material. Nah. Either you agree to compromise, or I leave. Martha, if he goes, he won't be going on his own. Suits me fine. Stand your ground, mate. You'll win the war. We're behind you, mate. Owning a circus sucks. Well, it can't get any worse. Just hang in there. We'll make it work. You know, mate's supposed to stick together in good times and bad, you know, for better or for worse. That's marriage, isn't it? Oh, speaking of which, this came for you in the morning mail. It's from Canada. I was really upset when I went to your hotel and found you'd gone. I came to tell you that my father was going to lend you the money to do Philip's classes and give you a job so you could pay him back. It's good, Sim, because you know what you want and you're going for it. I hope we can be friends again. Love, Eve. Dear Eve, g'day. How are you? I'm OK and so is me best mate Jack. I wish you could meet him. He's a real spunk. <laughs> You're a great help. Well, just tell how you feel. Do you miss her? Yeah, I guess. Oh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Yes, Jack, I miss her. Well, write it down. You know, start with the news and then tell her how you feel. Jack, let me tell you about it. Yeah, hang on. No, listen, it'll be a great idea. How can you do an animal act without animals? With people dressed up. We send up lion taming and monkey acts. You know, we make fantastic costumes. So we get rid of the animals. Well, that'll save on costs. I like! But Mrs. Ratno, she not agree. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. First, I have to work out the routine. What if we kept some of the equipment? Tony, Manuel, and the Fernandez family could do the lions. 
Yeah, Martha can do a guest spot as a dinosaur. <laughs> Me as gorilla. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be a dingo. <laughs> Otto? What are they saying about me? Nothing, Capral. I can tell my arthritis always blows up when someone's talking about me. Nothing. Sim tell about new act. I want to be a gorilla. Or elephant, maybe. What you talking about? Fernandez family for lions, Sim say. Lions? What does he think? The little club! Maybe you should be rhinoceros. Thank you. Sim, in the spirit of cooperation, I've decided to come to you to discuss a great new plan. Really? That's great, Mrs. Rethnow. You can call me Martha now, if you like. OK. Well, Martha, I've got some ideas too. Age before youth. Why don't you let me go first, hmm? Of course. What I was thinking was, we need more animals. There's nothing like animals in a circus. Oh, I know, some modern people think they're mistreated and all that silly stuff. But my dead husband always said that the animals represented the exotic. And if a circus lost touch with the exotic, it lost touch with its audience. So what do you think? Uh... Otto suggested elephants. And I think he's right. Maybe. Some Russian dancing bears, a pair of boxing kangaroos, and a chimpanzee, all dressed up in funny clothes. Well, well actually, I, I was thinking about the animals, too. Really? Do you know what that's called? Synchronicity. Two people thinking about the same thing at the same time. Maybe that means we're soulmates. So? What were you thinking about? That... that maybe... We should get rid of them. Gee, that is an interesting suggestion. It's just that, well, they don't belong. Not anymore. They did. I know they're part of the tradition, but I've seen so many new types of circus acts. People love them. No animals. They don't need them anymore. Come with me. What's that say? Uh, Rathnow's Grandy Imperial Circus and Menagerie. Men menagerie, you idiot! Sim, do you know what the word menagerie means? It means a collection of animals. I thought that was called a zoo. You won't find animals in a zoo. Love the way these precious creatures are. Animals have to be cared for properly are people with a special understanding. Special people. Like me! Otto, you signed this order form for extra feed for the animals. You know we can't afford it. Sorry, Jack, but Mrs. Ratnow told me I have to. And if she told you to put your head in the lion's mouth, would you do that? I worked for her and Mr. Ratnow for a long time. She's my boss. You are too, Sim. But she can still fire me. Otto, she can only fire half of you. <laughs> Jenquia. Sim, I don't know if you can have a circus without animals, but they're eating us out of tent and home. There you are. Hello, dearest. Good. Hi, Charlie. Remember me? Where's Max? Of course, Max. That's me. How are you, Sim? I heard you arrived. Yeah. How are you, Max? Can we talk? 
Charlie gets a bit upset if he's left out of things. Do you mind if he listens in? Sure. It's about him anyway. I was wondering if he could do with some friends. Some old donkeys? No. Ponies. Monkeys. A camel. And some lions. The circus animals aren't sick or anything. It's just that I think they'd be better off in a place like this. They wouldn't have to travel around the outback. And your operation's more suited to them than I think a circus is. I mean, I know how much you love animals. Sounds interesting. What's your price? I don't know. Good, because I can't afford to pay for them. Can I just give them to you? That sounds like a fair price. <laughs> Simba! 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 G'day, Max! Hello, Jack! Guess what? Don't tell me. Old Charlie's taking up ballroom dancing. <laughs> no! <laughs> Max is buying all... <coughs> He's taking all the animals! Does Martha know? Martha? Oh, she's my co-owner. Is there a problem? Uh, well, have you ever seen a human hurricane? No. Nuclear explosion? Jack! An intergalactic war? No, Blue! No, Blue! This is right now. This is right Jack and Simmy getting rid of all the animals. This is old geezer coming with the truck. He's going to take them all away. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Come on. Come on. You ready with the lion cage? No, of course. No, Stand by, OK? No, Blue. OK. No blue, all black. No blue. Thanks a lot. You blew that. Well, you just can't go off and sell the animals without Martha's agreement. I wasn't going to sell them, I was going to give them to him. Oh, great. That'll really help our finances. Yeah, well, that's meant to be your job, remember? Where's this truck that's come to get my animals? You don't have to worry, it's gone. Don't you tell me not to worry. Where's him? He's not getting away with this. He's going to cool off, why don't you? Everything under control, Mrs. Rathnow? Oh. Mrs. Rathnow? to talk to her? I was going to until you butted in and ruined the only chance we had. Well, it's still not too late. What are you sucking up to Martha for anyway? I mean, I thought you came to help me. I did, and I'm doing it. You just don't see, do you? I took the job and I'll stick by it, but I won't do anything that's not right for you or for anyone else. I'm sorry, Jack. Get in. Now. 
little as possible. It's Sim's fault. They heard him talking about trying to get rid of them. How many lines have you got? At the moment, none. Don't you shoot my babies! Where's the cage? Just gone. Why? You got two lines or more? Two of the beautiful creatures. Good. They've been seen. Where? On the road into town and at Herbert's butcher shop. Where is Carabat? He's in the refrigerator. You harm my babies and I'll sue! Maybe there is some people. Welcome home, sweetheart. Well, could have been worse. It was disaster, mate. Those cops were going to shoot. And who was in charge of the cage? That's what I intend to find out. Martha, how'd they escape? You tell me! You're the one who wanted to get rid of them. You're accusing me? Well, Lone Brain Wayne was the last in the cage. I saw him. Wayne! What was he doing in there? Working! With your brilliant idea, remember? You deal with it. You hired him. We hired him, Martha. Throw him to the lions, boy. You mean fire him? No, give him a raise and a holiday. I can't fire him. Circus isn't just about fancy routines, boy. You want to be an owner? You better learn how to take the hard decisions. Or aren't you up to it? Wayne? Did you leave the cage door open? It was an honest accident. There's no such thing with lions. Are you the owner? Who asks? Lynette Davidson, Animal Liberation. That's all I need. A bunch of fruitcakes. We heard that several animals were almost destroyed. We demand a meeting with the management. Talk to him. He handles political matters. Martha, will you stop fighting me all the time? You ain't seen nothing yet, boy. You better talk, young man. You people have a big problem. You think I don't know that? It's none of your business. No, we can do this the hard way or the nice way. I suggest you cooperate. We'll handle it ourselves. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mr Gunner, what do you say to the allegation that your animals are being mistreated? How is it that a circus is being run by somebody as young as you, Mr Gunner? How old are you, Mr Gunner? How many lions are killed? Mr Gunner, you must talk to us. It's been a hard day. If the owners agree to meet with you in the morning, would you at least leave us alone tonight? We will. Thanks. But you're going to see a lot more of us until those poor animals are liberated. Sim? How's life in sunny Montreal? I suppose you're swimming and sunbaking every day and enjoying the life of an idle student. Things are tough here. Martha is impossible, and I don't know if it's all worth it. Perhaps Charles and Philip were right. Circus is just a business like any other. I still love being a clown, but you know, I think I'm just not cut out to be a circus owner. You want that one? I'll have a word with you, son. Live entertainment. I didn't know it was against regulations. Could be just a shot on a long haul like this. What? Well, you travel for free and turn for your little show. Do you do the trip often? First and last time, I reckon. Pity. Still, <clears throat> if you ever need a free pass, give me a bell. be very proud of yourself. I should have got an A in chemistry. Four A's and a B? Oh, you deserve a medal. Or a holiday. Have you thought what you'd like to do in the vacation? Sim is having a really hard time with his circus. Could we go over there? 
To Australia? Just for a few weeks? I think he needs some business advice. But the cost, the trip, I mean, it will be very expensive. We haven't had a holiday in years. We have just been to Paris. But we have never been to Australia. Everything kept going wrong. I couldn't take it anymore. You just left. Mum, Martha's not human. I couldn't deal with her. What did Jack say? I didn't really get a chance to talk to him about it. Not properly anyway. Why don't you stay here for a while? Get a job, think about it. Come along. Hey. Will he take an off shortly, like your little mate? I thought about it. So? When are you leaving? As soon as I finish what I've started. The books, Martha. Feeding the horses is my day job. Next thing we know, he'll want a pay rise. Enough should be coming up soon. Uh, I haven't roughed it like this since we were first married. Oh, this is roughing it. Whoa! We are acrobats, not clowns. Everybody has to have at least two jobs from now on. Times are tough. This isn't funny, it's dumb. If the manager says it's funny, it's funny. Jack, pies. Now you, come running in screaming fire, and you hit her with a pie. So what do I do? I'll do anything you like, so long as it's funny. Places, everyone! Not bad, not bad, eh? Everyone wants a free lunch. Box office open 7 p.m., tickets $10. <laughs> Is Sim, uh, Simon Gunner here? Who are you? A friend of Sim's. I understood he had an ultra in this circus. Possession is nine tenths of the law, and he's no longer in possession. Where is he? Gone, disappeared, evaporated. But where did he go? Who cares? Shot through like a Bondi tram. Now, come on, everyone, let's get it together. Do it properly this time. We came all this way for nothing. So you're the famous Eve, eh? Are you a friend of Sims? Well, it depends. Sorry? Depends on whether he gives me a good explanation for shooting through. Well, do you know where he's gone? His mum's, I guess. You go see Sim? I suppose so. Otto! Get in here! You tell him, Otto understand. Get in here, you overgrown imbecile! <laughs> Thank you. Nah, you keep it. I need to get back in here. See ya. Thank you. It wasn't exactly your radical circus act. Are you sure Sim said he owned part of that? It may not look like much, but it was Sim's dream. He should be here. Why would he run away then? Or more to the point, why would he stay? He should be here. It's sure, um... Bold? Hmm. Bright? Colourful. I'd agree to unique. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do your room too. Hey, don't just blush. <laughs> you look good with freckles. 
<laughs> the customers will love it. Oh, I'm late. Hey, how do you feel about a purple door? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Are you Mrs. Gunner? Yeah. Uh, who are you? A friend of Sims, F. Tetro. Oh, come on in. Sim tells me he didn't part on very good terms in Montreal. Oh, we've been writing. His last letter worried me. Oh, he's fine. Really? He seems a lot happier now he's stopped traveling and got a job. You mean he found a new circus already? <laughs> it's not exactly a circus. Well, not all the time, anyway. He hasn't given up clowning, has he? No, I wouldn't say that. Hey, come over here! Hey, did I say Edzo is on this pizza or what? I think I did. And what do you put on it? You put cat balls! Hey, if I eat that, you know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get a frog in the throat! <laughs> <laughs> Saved your life. Hit. You walked away from your own circus? All I ever worried about was money. I couldn't handle it anymore. Couldn't handle it? Jack and the others are still handling it. And what about your clowning? I do more clowning at the pizza parlor than I ever did at Rathnow's. Was it that bad? Working with a tank full of sharks would have been more fun. <laughs> Martha speaks well of you too. You've met her? Yes. Where are the teeth marks? <laughs> so you met Jack? Yes. He says you shot through. Well, you did, didn't you? Look who's talking. What do you mean? Yeah, well, you left me in the lurch in Montreal. I have to work hard on my studies. You're just working in a pizza parlor. Clowning in a pizza parlor? Just as well. You two only see each other occasionally. We might have World War III on our hands. Tell him he's wasting his talent. Well, I guess that depends. Would you give up on something just because it was too hard to deal with? Not now, but there was a time. What was it that made you change your mind? I realised that sometimes it's better to keep going through the hard times, even though you might feel like you're going under. Because some things and some people are worth it. Exactly. Try and tell your son that. That's my taxi. People at the pizza parlor have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. I like being here with my mother. I'm happy. We're leaving for Sydney this afternoon. But, but I've hardly seen you. Can't you stay a few more days? I came to help you with your circus and to say I'm sorry for what happened in Montreal. I can't help you if you want to help yourself. And I said I'm sorry. So goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Kenner.
Tim? That's a pretty tough way to say goodbye. When I was overseas, I was scared to come home. Because I thought things mightn't work out between us. And do you think they have? I was scared when Eve came. I thought she'd want you to go back to Montreal. You needn't worry about that now. Perhaps. But even if she did, and it was right for you, you have to do it. Am I missing something? I wanted you here. I wanted to be the mother to you I never was. But Eve's made me realise you have to decide for yourself what's important to you. You think I should go back to the circus? <laughs> what did I just say? You have to decide for yourself. But I do know that if something is really important to you, don't abandon it or you will regret it for the rest of your life. If I went back to the circus, I wouldn't be able to see you as much. But the good news is, I might be able to repaint this room a respectable colour. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to stay a little longer? Your attention, please. This is your final boarding call for flight 16 to Adelaide and Melbourne, boarding through gateway number two. <coughs> Juliet! Juliet, where are you? <laughs> we'll be back in two weeks' time. We'll pick you up at the circus. You'll have things sorted out by then, won't you, my friend? Pas de problème. Just remember, give them something new and different. It worked for me. <laughs> Do you have enough money for the tickets? Don't need any. Two tickets to bungle up, please. Uh, Mr. Andrews said to show these some tickets to be organised. Your dad was right, you know. We need to think of something to make people excited about the circus. How about an international act, a big name? Maybe, but how can... Anatole! Sorry, I didn't mean you. What do you mean by that, Anatole? Michelle wrote to me. Anatole lost his job, he's been busking in Paris. Anatole busking? Charles eventually got his way at the Cirque d'Hiver. He sacked all the clowns and Monsieur Chevalier left. That's terrible. Yes, but it's also great. They need jobs. We need famous international clowns. They could be the something new and different, don't you see? There you go. Thanks. Do you think they'd come? You never know if you don't ask. Pas de problème. We'll give you star billing. Michelle the monster clown. We'll come next week. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il veut qu'on fasse? Where are you? Attends, where are you? It's Anatole. Bonjour. No? No? Je ne sais pas. No. Look, I'll think of something, okay? I'll call you back. Bye. He's just the same. He tries to run before he can walk. He wants us to join his circus in Australia. But he does not think about how we can get there. I thought you were saying? 
I want to see Kangaroo! Seems as I can be a clan in his circus. Oh, it's only foolish dreams. Still to play, Mama? We will see. The recklessness of youth. The bitterness of old age. I offered him a real job. And all he could ask was how they were supposed to get here. Sounds like a pretty fair question to me. Michelle wanted to come. Uh, of course. To see his hero. <laughs> You sure you're ready for this? No worries. Set meal. Song. Well, there will be just enough for at least one ticket. But this is all your savings. Have you lost your sanity? I lost that when I took in Klaus's borders. The boy cannot go to Australia on his own. That's right. And if one of you won't go with him, I will. Well, I would go, but I have no money. Since he was a young boy, all he has ever dreamt of was to be a clown. And he can be one day. Where? At the Suc de Ver? Where even you cannot get jobs? If we have no money, what can we do? What does he do here? He works for the government. You know this. Dad. But... Monsieur Chevalier said you can call on him in an emergency. Well, this is hardly hey. seem needs us. Two tickets. Understand? I envy you, my friends. At least you are still making the people laugh, huh? I only make them angry when I refuse to give them a study grant to research body painting in Borneo. <laughs> Our new circus techniques in Australia. There are new circuses in Australia? Sim has a circus. The best circus in the world! Experimental, radical, innovation, new street the theater's techniques. Very worthwhile cultural exchange. Many benefits for French clowning generally. <laughs> and you want uh, how many tickets for Australia? Two, four, three. Do you know how many forms you would have to fill out for just the one ticket, let alone four? No one is going in, and no one is getting out until this circus agrees to stop using animal acts. Put the humans in cages. Call yourselves animal lovers! You'd starve your own bunkies! they will get your headline in the paper! We're willing to die for the cause of freedom for the animal kingdom. I could fight all them myself! I'm sure you could, mate, but what would it achieve? Are you saying we're going down the gurgler? Who do they think they are? Blood-sucking bludgers! Martha. I think it's time. To man the barricades. No. To throw in the towel. I'm not going to fall for any of Martha's tricks this time. If you won't cooperate, we'll do it on our own. Right, mate? Right, mate. <laughs> we'll be fantastic! <laughs> My truck or I'll thump you. You and lose army, mate. Don't starve if he doesn't get through, you stupid little ass. for days more. All you care about is the money. They're still at it. Quick, let's go in this way. Set the animals free. Burn the big top. Just call it, Tony. Where is everybody? Okay, let it through. But this is a long time. Martha, we didn't invent the worst rural recession for 15 years. All those maniacs out there. People around here just don't want to be entertained. They want to eat. 
You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it laugh. Ah, oh, well, look who's back. The Great White Hope. Glad you come back. Let him deal with those lunatics. Politics is his specialty, isn't it? Well, I came with something to say. I've missed the circus, I've missed all of you. I know I walked away last time, but I couldn't handle the pressure. All I'm asking is that you give me another chance. Bit late for an apology, isn't it, Chief? Jack, you've got every right to be angry at me. But the circus is... Finished. Things have changed around here. The circus is finished. Well, it's a simple matter. The circus is broke. Outgoings are up here, and incomings are down in the pits. Jack Merrick, accountant. Yeah, well, you appointed me, and I stuck by it. Couldn't you lower your costs? Sure. We can cut French champagne and caviar. It sounds like you've just given up. Maybe. But you need a miracle worker to get the people in this town to crack a smile, let alone pay to come to a circus. Even I have got some great ideas for some new acts. A new acts is not the problems, Chief. Then we'll make a list. The smallest problems at the top, the bigger ones at the bottom. What did you write? Convince Martha to get rid of the animals. Anyone think of a small problem? Can we help you? I'm the town clerk. I issued the permit for you people to use this land. It's expired. How much is another one? One hundred dollars. Uh, we're a bit strapped for cash at the moment. Could it wait a couple more days? What Sim means about the money is we don't have any. What difference does it make whether we don't have any today or we don't have any tomorrow? The chance of having any today are nil. But the odds for tomorrow are better. That's two to one. We still don't have any. <laughs> well, I never could resist an outsider. I'll give you till tomorrow night. Thanks. Merci. Thanks. Was that a small problem or a big one? I can't give you this lot of feed until you pay the 250 you owe. I thought the circus was broke. That's my rainy day money, and that's the last of it. We can't let your animals go hungry. Listen to Jack and Sim, please. Whatever happens, whether it's today or tomorrow, they're going to have to go. It might just be better to make some provisions for their retirement. It won't be a circus without the animals. It won't be a circus with them. Look, Martha, we'll think of something. But it'll be best for everyone, especially the animals. Maybe we can talk to Max again. We've got to find solutions to some big problems. We can't afford to keep the animals and Martha won't part with them. But the pressing issue at the moment is money for our permit. Money full stop, that's our problem. No, listen, one thing at a time. We need $100 for our permit. There's a church fair down in town. <laughs> sure, we could sell lamingtons. Oh, we can sell our spare props and costumes. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? A circus memorabilia auction. Could be worth a try. Great idea. I've got some stuff I don't need. Yeah, me too. What about the old pirate costumes? Eve, Rebecca, Otto, everybody get together anything you can find to sell. You never know when you might need one. It's hard enough selling cakes these days, <laughs> let alone umbrellas. <laughs> Buy two umbrellas and get one free. All stock must go in a once-only end-of-season sale. Get ready for the next fancy dress party. Nobody's in the mood for parties these days. Times are tough round here, love. Mm. I don't like your chances. You old Max. Mature Max. I reckon you must be, uh, young Martha. Flattery, I'll get you nowhere. I want to talk to you. Just a minute, Charlie thinks I'm being very rude not to introduce you. He'd like to show you around the place. Is that all right with you? I want to know what you got here in the way of 
animal facilities. Oh, no problem. Charlie's always telling me about his plans to upgrade the place. Who's Charlie? Charlie, come and say hello to Mrs. Uh. Rath now. Impress your neighbours. Teach your pets amazing tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Caught in a bushfire, he'd organize a barbecue. and girls, let me introduce you to two of France's most famous clowns and one of France's most hey. famous clown students. Love. They'll be performing at Rathnau's Grand Imperial Circus. Sim Circus. Sim and Eve Circus. <laughs> Sim. Sim. For the umbrellas. Take it as a down payment on the hundred dollars. Keep it. I'll take a punt on you. Looks as though you might be getting a few people to your circus after all, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they rang from the airport looking for you, so I thought I'd drive them here and see how you're going myself. I don't believe it. <laughs> how did you get to Australia? Oh. <laughs> Michel is not the only student. Thanks to Monsieur Chevalier, we're here on an important cultural mission. <laughs> to study Australian circuses! <laughs> Close your eyes and open them when I tell you, and you'll see as if by magic, your new home! Where is it? Where's what? The big top. What? See, when can I look? No hurry. Get your dirty paws off it! Hold it, pal. These hands are registered as lethal weapons, and she's a black belt in origami. What's going on? Parasite snuck in while we were away. Bankruptcy. Sundry items belonging to Rathnow Circus have been confiscated to pay for outstanding debts. What outstanding debts? How long have you got? Take me all afternoon to list them. However, I, I think we've got them covered. Okay, come on. Buddy. Don't you care about them taking your animals? Don't worry. They're safe. Where are they? Sold them to Max. Got a good price, too. Signed the deal before those leeches arrived. Can't touch them now. And I've taken a job with Max and old Charlie. What job? Chief animal custodian of Max's wildlife park and zoo. Shall we go, my dear? If anyone asks where Martha Rathnow's gone, you tell them she's started a new phase in her career. A successful partnership. Things look promising, Martha. Best of luck. Martha, we've had our troubles, but I've always wanted the best for the circus. For a snip of a boy who wasn't born in the big top, I guess you got a bit of the entertainer in your blood. The show always came first. The show must go on. Bye, Martha. See you, Martha. Bye. Oh. Bye. No animals. Bye-bye. No Martha, no Big Top, and no debts. No debts. Bye. Bye. Sim, you mean we came all the way here to join his circus and now the recent one? There is. You're the circus, I'm the circus, we're all the circus. We don't need a big top. Sim is right. Today in town we saw the proof. And we'll make it happen again, in our show. Oh, you must be kidding. Put on a show without a tent? 
There's no tent, but there's all of us. We've got work to do. So let's go and do it, Chief. <laughs> Rehearsal start in one hour. <laughs> See my partners in the show. Don't get any ideas about sticking around, okay? <laughs> You're going to be his partner after I leave, are you? Sure! What's he need some Sheila like you who'll take off the first chance she gets to get back to her cushy life in Montreal? He probably doesn't need me, but I wish I could stay. It's easier juggling four chainsaws than talking about feelings. I do have to go. My parents are coming to get me. But that doesn't mean... I understand. You have to finish school. It was hard for me in Montreal, because you didn't seem to understand how I felt. That I wanted to do many other things besides clowning. I was pretty dense. All I could think about was what I wanted. And what you wanted was special. I'm beginning to understand that other people need different things. Give me 50 years, I might grow up. <laughs> we'll make a date. 50 years from now, and I'll come back to see you. Sooner, please. I said I will help Michelle with his costume. I better go. As if we didn't have enough problems already. Now you got an incurable disease. <laughs> Sam, come on, let's decide how we're going to run this show. Okay. Th there's just one problem. Where are we going to get some lights? Don't worry. Already got it covered. My people have been expert in natural lighting for about 40,000 years. But we needed a permit for this one. Come on. Come this way. Children of all ages, welcome to Sims Circus. Where's the tent? Our big top is the best the universe has to offer. We'll even throw in the Milky Way for free. <laughs> what about the performers? Where are they? Ready and waiting. As soon as you've paid your money, the magic will begin. Admission is by donation. I'm not paying until I see what I'm getting. Well, I am. Good. Me too. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Yes, keep it trim. As you can see, our big top is so big, you can hardly see the top. But if you look up, you can just see our spotlights glittering away. Don't try this at home, folks.
the Starlight Circus, we, that is Juliet and I. Juliet, are you listening? Yes. You said tonight at the Starlight Circus we present you a very big surprise. Did I say that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Theodore and Anatole! My glass! No! My looking glass! Smell of gum trees. I was a bit rude to you in Paris. I was not so polite myself. As soon as I had to run the circus on my own, I realized what you had to face. I even began to understand Charles. <laughs> and perhaps I'm beginning to understand too how special your sort of circus can be, what it means to people. It's funny, I had to come home to find what it was I really wanted to do. À la fin du voyage, on retourne toujours à son point de départ. At the end of our journey, we return to the place we started from. Just a couple of clowns hanging around. Mm -hmm. Seeing the world upside down. Much better that way. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you write me from every town you go to. From all catch him, cool your nobbing, get you get up, make them nan up, yawn up, no anger up. I rang the council at your next town. They can't wait to see your show. Thanks very much. Come back soon. Looks like we did a pretty good rain making crawberry last night. <laughs> well, let's do it. 
Jack, how do we do a rain stopping corroboree? I don't know, Chief. You're the boss. I'm only the accountant. Wonderworks Family Movie was made possible by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, with additional funding provided by the annual financial support of viewers like you, and the National Endowment for the Arts. This is PBS.